Hello and welcome to another tutorial from OICT. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to move an image, a single image, on four directions, which is up, down, left, and right. So I'm just going to run this application now. So as you can see, the image um, gets loaded up. It's basically like a football pitch, and then you have the football that you control with the arrow keys. So you can move it right, left, up, and down. Right, all of this is basically being drawn onto the screen using the paint event. So if I go to the top, the foot will be stopped. It will go beyond the top. If I go to the left, it stops there. If I go down, it stops here. So I can go anywhere below that. And it also stops on the other side. Okay, so this is going to be a simple tutorial on how to control a object and draw it onto the screen using the paint event. Okay, um, we can get started by creating a new project. Okay, for the new project, I'm just going to click on create a new project here. I'm going to choose the Windows Form.net app. I'm going to name this one four way single image movement UICT. Right. Uh, click next. Uh, .NET frame, uh, framework 6 is fine. Click create. Okay, so uh, before we get started, make sure you download the images from the Moai City website and you'll find a football image and you'll also have the uh, background image there. So what we're going to do is we can copy both of them. So we'll copy them. Okay, um, go back to my Visual Studio, right click on the project name, go to open folder in File Explorer. So this is the project window that we have. We're going to go to bin, debug, and then I'm going to paste the files inside of that folder. So when the exe file is generated, um, these will be the images that it loads dynamically from within the debug folder. Okay, so as long as the exe and the images are in the same location, it should be fine. Okay, so if we go back to this one, um, now we're making changes to the sizes of this. So I'm just going to name this one Boy Image Movement App More ACT. Okay. So just the title shows up there. In the toolbox, I'm going to grab this primer. You can, you can leave that one as the default name. So the enable to true. Interval to 20. And if you go to the events option here, you say timer event and press enter. So that will add a timer event to the timer. Uh, we also need to go back to the form. And here we need the key down, key up, and the paint event, right? So the type of key is down, like so. Go back to keys up, key is up. Okay. So I'm just uh, doing the camel casing. And then we also are going to need the paint event. So the paint event is here. So I'm going to say home paint event. Okay, so here's our four events that we need. Uh, we also need to set the double buffer on for the form. So if you go back here and then find the double buffer option, and then you can set that to true. Okay, so if we go back to the code now, uh, what we can do is inside of the main constructor, we can set up the background. So I'm just going to make some space underneath the initialized component line here. We say this uh, background image is equals to image.compile. So from file is going to look for the file that we want, right? So basically the file that we save is a bg.jpg inside of the debug folder. So it's a bg.jpg. And then we can end the line there because it is not inside of any folder. Okay, so that will apply the background image to the form and we also need to display it as a stretch image. So we can say this, this uh, background layout is equals to image layer dot stretch so we can it as that if i run this one now let's see if it loads up the background so we have it so it's actually loaded up and it's stretched within the uh, within the borders of the application okay right, so that's all we need for that one Right, let's go and add our variables that we need for the football. Okay, so let's say image football, like so. I'm going to give a bunch of booleans. 
So say go left, go right, go up and go down. Uh, we also need an integer for speed. I'll set that to 10. Uh, we need an integer for position X, hold the football, position Y. Uh, we need an integer for height and integer for width. Spinning right. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of the empty spaces from there. So these are the variables that we need. All of them will be applied to the football that we're going to be creating for um, for this application. Okay. Um, underneath here, we can actually apply the football image to the image over there. So we're just going to say football is equals to image.com file. It was called ball ENG. Double check. Yep. So now the football has been assigned to it, we can draw it on the screen anywhere using the position x, position y, i, and width. Okay, so let's do that now inside of the paint event. So in the paint event, yeah, let's say uh, graphics, let's call it canvas, close to the, the graphics. So we're just linking it, linking the canvas to the e event over there okay and then you can say canvas draw image okay the image that we're going to draw is the football image and we're going to give it a position x as the x value position y as the y value the width and then height which we will be setting those up in a minute so by doing it like this we're able to draw the football onto the screen right so if you go back here and give them um, values to these for now. So if I say, for example, this one 50, y to 200, so it's going to be um, about here in the x direction and here in the y direction. So it's going to be about um, 50 from the left and 200 from the top. So it should run here. Okay, um, let's give it a width of 50, and then that's 50 as well. Okay, so with these values, you should be able to see the football on the display now. That's right, so there you go. So as you can see the football there. So if you want to move the football, let's say for example, here, right, we can also do that by changing that to say, for example, 100. As you can see, by using the position X and Y values, we're able to move the football in and around um, the form here, right? So, and we're going to be using that with the key down and key up events. Okay, so let's do those two events now. I'm going to say if e key code is equals key is to our left. So if the left um, key is pressed, I'm going to set go left to true. As if e equal is as equals keys go right. I'm gonna set go right to true. Is the up. Select up to true. We don't key code. Keys go down. And then set more value to Q. Okay, so basically the key down event is basically just going to set the booleans associated with the keys to true because that's when we press it. So I'm just going to copy all of this and paste it into the key is up. So once the keys are released, they're basically just going to be set back to false again. Keys released, we don't want to move it into that direction. Okay, so they're all set back to false. Okay. So there you have the key is down, it's setting it to true, and key is up, it's setting it to false. Okay, and last one is the time event. So time event is what's going to be basically moving the ball across the screen. So here we're going to do a bunch of if statements as well. Let's say go left. If go left, boolean is true, and 
position x is greater than zero so it's still within the frame right and then we're going to say position x is going to be minus equals to speed so it's going to deduct the speed value every 20 milliseconds so there are 10 from the 200 over there so it's basically going to be moving it toward the left of the screen okay so if you want to try this now now because it's quite far apart so you can still see so right now the ball's there if i press left Oh yeah, that's because um, so to have it updated, I've done that one that mistake before as well. We have to use the this dot invalidate. Okay, so by doing this, it's going to refresh the frame basically. So anytime every twenty milliseconds, it's going to refresh the frame with new values. We're going to try this now. Okay, so as you can see, the ball now moves to the left. Okay, let's do the other three directions. Let's say if the right is true and position x plus width is less than this line size or width. So it's still within the uh, boundaries from the right. Then we can say position x is plus equals to speed. So now it's going to be moving it to the right of the screen. So we'll try this again. Leave the code there so you can see it. So I can move it left, and then now I can also move it right. And it stops the border there because the position x is right here, and then the width is calculating it with 50. So whatever the x value is, plus 50, and making sure that it's still within the boundary of the form. Okay, uh, let's do the up. If your up is true and position y, still greater than zero then we're going to say position y minus equals to speed and then if go down is true and position y plus height so similar to the one we did for the right is less than this the iron size the height so if it's still within the boundaries the wall then we can move it down so we're going to say plus equals to speed Okay, so 2 for x and 2 for y, we've done that. Okay, perfect. So if we run this now, okay, this one here, so you can possibly see that screen there. So right now I can move up, down, it stops here, it stops there. I can go around the corner. I can also hold two buttons and move it diagonally. Okay, so hopefully um, this has been a very quick tutorial on how to move a single image uh, using paint event and a timer, right? Um, I'm going to build up on a few other things going forward. I have another one coming up soon uh, with the sprite movement. So you can move a character up, down, left and right, and they will animate in that set direction. So it's going to be similar to this one. So we're just going to build up on that and then hopefully um, we'll look into how to make some other cool things using Windows 4 and .NET. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That would really help me out. And other than that, uh, have a good day and I will see you on the next tutorial.